Hi and welcome to the page. I'm Ken Smith and today this video is all about the Ford Model AA truck. Now there's lots of information that's out there about Model A cars and even Model A pickups and lots of information about the plants that these were being assembled at but there's really hardly much information out there about the Model AA truck. The Model AA4 truck is powered by the same 201 cubic inch engine that powers all other Model A's. The engine produced a maximum of 40 horsepower at 2200 RPM. The engine featured an updraft carburetor, 6 volt generator, 2 and 4 blade fan options, a mechanical water pump, mechanical oil pump, electric starter, and four-row radiator. Now the four-row radiator is the significant difference between the Model AA truck and all other Model A's. All of the other features I mentioned are literally identical to the Model A, with probably the exception of the four-blade fan. Also, just like any other Model A, the Model AA truck engine could also be hand crank started if need be. The Model AA truck was based on a chassis that was similar in design to the Model A Ford, except it was substantially larger and heavier to accommodate the work this truck was designed for. The Model AA truck also had a four-speed manual transmission versus the three-speed transmission in all other Model A trucks and cars. The additional gear in the transmission is sometimes referred to as a granny or creeper gear, and that was the first gear. It had a higher reduction ratio than the first gear of the Model A car or Model A pickup truck to provide more torque to move a loaded truck. The second through fourth gears on a Model AA transmission were similar in ratios to the first through third gears of the standard Model A. Another unique feature to this transmission was that it featured a lockout on the shift knob for reverse that required a lever to be activated with the thumb so reverse could be engaged. This was done to prevent accidental engagement of reverse while the truck was in motion. Early trucks had a worm gear rear end that limited the top speed of the truck. The rear end was replaced by a ring and pinion differential to improve the speed of the truck. The later differential came with high speed and low speed options. Later models were fitted with braces on the outer casting of the rear end to provide additional support to the rear end housing. The suspension of the AA truck was similar to the Model A Ford in the front end. A leaf spring is centered in the front A-frame over the front axle. Shock absorbers were available for the front end. But the rear suspension differed dramatically than the car. The AA had leaf springs mounted to the chassis and shackled to the rear axle. The rear suspension did not have shocks. Other mechanical features like the brake system and the starting system, the ignition timing, the wiper, all are very similar to the standard Model A and Model A truck. During the production of the Model AA, the wheels also changed. Spoked wheels similar in appearance to the Model A wheels, but much heavier were used during 1928. 20-inch six-slot disc wheels were produced by Bud for Ford during 1929. In 1930, a new style 20-inch five-slot disc wheel was adopted. These wheels were used for 1930 and part of 1931. The final wheels were a further modification of the 1930 wheel with a raised center 
to reinforce the wheels and allow spacing of dual wheels in the rear so the tires would not rub against each other. The dual wheels were used for a variety of body styles, including dump trucks, tow trucks, tankers, fire trucks, and flatbed stake trucks. Wheel nuts changed with each new style of wheel to meet the changes made in the designs of the wheel. Special wheels were produced for ambulances, buses, and funeral coaches, or what we would call hearses. There were lots of variants or options uh, for the Model AA truck. Two wheel bases were available, 131 and a half inches and 157 inches. Various body styles were available on different chassis. The Model AA Ford was available in a variety of body styles from the Ford Corporation. Specialty bodies included the funeral coach, ambulance, express pickup, dump truck, and a cab without a bed. The cab only model was sold to customers who wanted a custom body to be built by an aftermarket company. Corporations could have custom paint and other modifications made by Ford for fleets of vehicles. There were 49 different body types and 15 factory optional equipment types used on three different AA chassis. To eliminate the complexity and cost of its variety of postal trucks and accommodate the needs of the U.S. Postal Service, the post office purchased a fleet of Model A vehicles from Ford that had custom-built postal truck bodies manufactured and assembled by outside builders. These half-ton trucks remained in use and in some cases until the 1950s. Ford licensed the manufacturer of the Model A and AA to a variety of nations, notably the Soviet Union. More than 985,000 AAs were built by GAZ in the USSR from 1932 to 1950. The GAZ version you see here had a cargo capacity of 3,300 pounds. Today, there is an enthusiasm for the Model AA truck. Preservation and restoration of these vehicles still remains popular. In the United States, there are two national clubs. One club supports the Model A, Model AA hobby, and one club is dedicated specifically to the Model AA. I've put both of those links in my description. The Model A Restorers Club and the Model A Ford Club of America, along with the Ford Model AA Truck Club, work to support members with technical advice and support along with display members' vehicles as they are being restored. In some countries like Uruguay and Cuba, Model AA trucks are still in use more than 80 years after they were first introduced. I hope you found this video entertaining and educational. Please remember to give us a like and a subscribe. It's so important to us for us to continue to bring content. But most of all, be blessed.